Well, I'm out of my own for a few hours. I'm, uh, you probably can't see, but I've done some uh, B-roll. You'll be able to see the... Uh, I'm trying to uh, record some star trails with a few different cameras just to see uh, what's the best way to do it, really. I'm a little bit on edge because there's uh, loads of young'uns about and I've got two cameras over there on long exposure things and I'm hungry. All right, what have we got to eat in here? Noodles. Noodles. Biscuits. Noodles. The fried rice. And custard. All nice stuff. All chopped off with some uh, gravy. I don't think I fancy that. What else is there? So I've had to come back in and the only thing I can find, which I think is uh, going to be easy to do, if I can find a pan there is, is some Irish stew. So let's do that then. And I'll show you the star trails at the end. There's got to be a pan in here, hasn't there? Is that a pan? Is that a pan? No, it's a cat. Oh, there's a pan. There you go. Oh, it's very dark. I'm trying to be inconspicuous, that's why it's dark in here. That'll do, won't it? I'm going to watch a bit of YouTube as well. Give it a rinse out. You never know what's been in the spiders. I know I've got plenty of electricity, so I'm going to use the induction hub. It's hard with one hand, you know. <laughs> Especially your left. <laughs> nah, can't do it holding the camera. Uh, I, I think I'm going to need to put the light on. Too dark. That looks about ready, doesn't it? Yeah, that'll do. It's amazing how noisy they are. And always remember to unplug them because they use loads of electricity. Could have just eaten out the pan, I know, but I didn't want to burn the table. Because <laughs> I would have had my head in my hands. There you go, perfect. I can see all my cameras out there. I've got the uh, Insta360 X3. And I've also got the Insta360 Ace Pro out there. See which one does the best job. I'm pretty sure it'll be the Ace Pro, but... Let's, I'm just doing an experiment, and I have tried some with the, um, God, I forget what cameras I've got, the Pocket 3, the Osmo Pocket 3, uh, that allegedly isn't very good for doing star trails anyway, but I did some nice little shots, let's see what they like, anyway, cheers, lamb stew, hope it's not too hot. Well, that was exceptional for a tin of my mum's Irish stew. I've eaten a lot. It's all gone. Absolutely beautiful. I'll flick the uh, camera around and I'll show you exactly where I am. Flick. There we go. We are. Uh, we're in Hartlepool. That's just looking out of my window. And we've got the historic key and we've got the uh, brand new leisure centre being built over there. And I've got a couple of cameras just out there. And that's why I'm sat in the dark. So I can see predators. I've got a bit of palm messing around. I don't uh, go camping, but I really enjoy watching other people doing it. I don't think I'm going to bother washing up. I think I'll just uh, put the ball in the pan and take it in the house when I get home. Cup of coffee time. I'm only going to fill the kettle up with one cup of water. Save on the electricity. I've only got this tiny little spoon, I don't know why. It's decaf so I can have as much in as I want. A little bit of sweetener I believe. That'll do nicely. I've got these little things of milk, long life things. One's never enough. 
There's loads of cars hanging about. Stressful, man, stressful. That's stressed, I can't even open the milk. Doesn't look like I've hardly put any milk in there. And I put two in. Cheers, me dears. Hot, but nice. I always check the area where I'm pitching because I have before. Pitch the tent up and then gone round the corner and put a peg in and realise it's hot. So this is where I am, you know, I'm not out in the middle of nowhere. I'm just on the marina in Hartlepool. And if we swing it round, we've got the uh, the bingo halls just over there and uh, the travel lodge. And here we've got the uh, historic key in the Hartlepool. Well, it's the Hartlepool Museum and the uh, the Royal Navy Museum. And you can see the HMS Trincomalee. Well, I think you can see it. Just inside there, and this is the Wingfield Castle, which just so happens that if I come this side of it, which is where I've got my little camera pointing up to the sky, this just so happens to be pointing north. And my camera is down here somewhere. I don't know whether you can see it just about. Just about to see it there. I hope it's uh, still recording. Let's tap the screen. Let's have a look. Yep, it's still going. And this is the marina just round here. It's a little bit windy, so I hope you can hear me. We've got the 360 camera here. So I don't know what job that's going to do. It's saving it said there. So that may well. I'm just finished. No, it's still saying capturing. But the light's lovely here. Uh, we still got the, uh, well, it's sort of given like a tungsten view, isn't it? But it's very pretty. I think you can see me and you can probably hear me by the time I mess on with the uh, audio in CapCut. Uh, I'm not going to stop here tonight because I'm only going to be doing about three hours or something like that. And uh, to be fair, I only live around the corner, so it's pointless stopping out all night when I can go home and and have a comfortable bed with the missus. Uh, not that it's not comfortable in the van mind, it's one of the most comfortable beds I've ever slept in, to be honest. But I hope they do this, I'm gonna call it a ship. Paddle steamer, Wingfield Castle. I think it was originally used as a ferry. I do hope that they do it up, cause it's, well, it's rotten away. I'll put a link up there or, or down there to a video I did a year or so ago actually it might even be longer uh, I fly around it with the drone you can see what state it's in and it's even worse now so yeah fingers crossed to do something with it yeah we've got a bit of a slipway down here so we can get some boats in and such and this is where the uh, triathlon was just the other week I'll put a little clip of that on as well for you to have a look at We've got no street light on here. There is one there, but you can't see it unless I can do a Harry Potter and make it come on. It's not going to, but we do have almost a full moon. And I know that there's going to be an eclipse on Wednesday night. It's Sunday night now. So, well, Wednesday morning. So it's about three o'clock in the morning. So hopefully I might get some pictures of that. Not video. Maybe so I've got a long lens I can get some moon pictures. We'll see ya. I have actually taken a few pictures with this DJI Osmo Pocket 3. It gets slagged off for its photos, but I just wanted to see what it was like. And just looking at this tiny little screen, they don't look too bad. So I'll stick one up there. Have a look. Tell me what you think of the photo. I'm getting a bit cold, actually. I'm going to go back to the van. I was going to put the diesel eater on, but it's got a uh, like a negative sign on it. So don't know what that means uh, maybe the battery's got too low or the battery's knackered it's been in over a, well, a year gone February so well over 18 months maybe I'm in need of a new battery I think I would splash out and get a, a better quality one this time if I can afford it we'll just have to see mm, we've got a security man he was shining his torch at me but 
He appears to have stopped now. Right, that's been three hours. Better be careful where I'm stepping. So, well, the uh, the 360, the Insta360 X3, that's been going two hours. You can see the star's lovely, so hopefully we've got a nice uh, a nice star trail. So, but this one here, I'm pretty amazed at. So this is the Insta360 X3, and it's actually been going about two hours, just using its own internal battery. So that's pretty good. Oh, just made a noise there. Anyway, I'm going to stop it now and uh, go and find the other one and try not to kick it in the dock. And down here, we've got the Ace Pro. Down here somewhere. There it is. There it is. You can just about see it. So I'm sure this is... I don't know whether you can see this is actually plugged into an external battery as well. There it is. So that would have gone on for hours, I'm guessing. Anyway, it's been three hours, so I'm going to stop that one now as well. Well, I've just had a quick look at the uh, three hour star lapse and it only lasts a few seconds, so maybe they haven't quite got the settings right on that. I'll show you right now, tell me what you think, and I will catch you next time when I promise we're going to be going away somewhere. Bye-bye now.